All right, a quick video today is Wednesday, I think, and uh, didn't get a lot done today. I got a couple excuses, but I'm, I'm not going to go into that. Anyway, the, the pin block is roughed out. Uh, the old pin block is taken out. The new pin block was just roughed out. Um, uh, anything interesting there? Um, not right now. <laughs> this, is the, this is the easy part. I've got to fit... Next, tomorrow, I'll work on fitting that to here, which is kind of interesting. Hopefully, I have time to to look at that, do a little video about that. That's kind of interesting. I mean, it seems pretty straight ahead. There's some graphite on here. You just bang that up against there until it fits and take off whatever wood, uh, you know, is in the way until it's perfect. So, is the other thing I did, and I, I did half of this capo bar just so you could see the difference. This is what it looked like. If you can see it, if it's going to focus, focus, come on, it's going to focus. I don't know. It doesn't seem to want to focus, but at some point you'll be able to see that there's grooves in there. That It's focused there. I don't know why it wouldn't focus any closer, but anyway, this is what it looks like when it's polished up. Maybe it'll focus on this. Yeah, no, doesn't want to focus today. So, I mean, it's a pretty simple procedure. I mean, there's not a lot of grooves. This is minimal grooving, so just lightly with some files to keep the shape and then buff it up with various um, pieces of, what do they call that stuff? Crocus cloth. This is fine. Crocus cloth. This is um, whatever that is. Um, oh, yeah, and moving over the soundboard, I've been, you know, keeping... Taking a look at this, we're still cooking it a little bit. It's this crack is opening up a little bit more. It's not really, it's not really that important to have the heater under there anymore. I mean, until yeah, a shim, it, it's not going to make a big difference whether that has a big shim or a little shim. It's not going to change what's going on. But what does change, what's going, on, which you've got to be really diligent about going around here, and if you can hear this. can't hear it now myself. Here it is. There's the difference. It seemed to be making more of a difference before. Take my word for it. It's loose right there. It's even loose under this area they call the bind bar, which is screwed down for that reason. So I got to take these screws off and make sure that this is uh, this little tiny gap right there is filled. And I'll be doing that with hide glue, which maybe I can get into a rant about why hide glue is so important to use on these joints later on. Right now, I don't have time for a rant, but I've got to go around the whole board. I mean, even though this piano sounded fine before, something like that, if it was left unfixed, could cause a problem later on. So um, there is still plenty of, of checking out to do on the soundboard while we're uh, getting the pin block done. So anyway... Uh, hopefully I'll do another video tomorrow.